Good morning, Facebook friends. This is Deb with The Crafting Fool. And I'm going to try this again. Yesterday I did a whole video making the cards for the for the um, beautiful autumn class and went to upload it on YouTube and it failed. Tried it again, failed again. Tried it again, failed again. So I'm going to try to condense it and make it shorter today. So I need to get on with it. All right. This is for the beautiful autumn class, as I just said. Um, stamp set, beautiful autumn. It's featured this month in my on my Facebook page. Um, if you would like to know the details of the classes, the card classes that I'm featuring, um, you can go to my Facebook page, which is The Crafting Fool on Facebook. And the stamp set is beautiful autumn. Beautiful Autumn stamp set. We're going to be using the beautiful Gilded Autumn specialty paper. This paper is so pretty. Along with all the um, the little punches that came that you can get in the bundle with the stamp set if you choose. All right, let's get to it. All right. These are the cards that we'll be making today. It's the first. as well as this little treat. I'm actually going to start with the treat today. Got, when you receive the class, or when you come to the class, whichever way you choose to do it, everything will be cut and scored for you. You just have to put it together. All right, this paper is Cajun Craze, and it is uh, 9 by 3 and it's called the Matchbook because it folds like a matchbook. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'll try to keep in the frame. It's scored at 4, 4 and a half, and 8 and a half. What I'm going to do is now stamp... Stamp set. There it is. You have to excuse me. I'm a little nervous because it's been a long time since I've done classes or recorded with the coronavirus, and I've had uh, lots of stuff going on in my life. Over the last year, kind of kept me away from things. So I'm trying to get back in the swing. So I stamped hay there on. You can see that. And right here. You can choose whichever side of the paper that you want. I like the pumpkins. Be a cute little treat to give out to a friend, a co-worker, or even your kids or your grandkids, depending on who you'd like to share it with or keep it for yourself. And it holds those little fun size M&Ms or Skittles that are out right now. And I just placed it a little down from the top, kind of in the center from the sides. And that's gonna be put right in that way. When you 
you get your M&M pack, make sure that you move all the M&Ms away before you staple it in. Put your staple low as you can because you need a little space to tuck your flap in, of course. Now I'm going to be using the braided, braided linen, linen trim. I'll just tie a knot in that. Then you can spread your ribbon apart for a nice little effect. Because it's braided, it, it won't fray away. It holds. You can see that. You can see how I did that? Put that in there. my mini glue dots I had here a minute ago. I don't see them, so I'm going to be using my little ones, my regular ones. Um, using your dimensionals. I stamped, oh, I could show you how to do that here. You're going to stamp, I'm going to put this aside, you're going to stamp some leaves and some acorns. And the acorn is three steps. And I like the way it looked when I stamped it in the Cajun craze. And I'm only going to do one so that you can see how I did it. Stamped it in the, the, the line work. And that's the outline of it in the Cajun craze. And then if this little stamp here is the cap. And I did that in the early espresso. And then this little stamp is the body of the, whoops, I got that on backwards. Turn that around. I did that in crumb cake. You can see. And then that's the whole process of making one acorn. And then you bring in the punch, line it up, line it up, and pop it off. Out. You do the same thing for the leaves. They're two step. They're a two step process. They each have the outline and then a solid 
for their inside for you to add color if you want to add color that aside so I've done some up ahead to save time today so you can see the leaves here and I two-toned my leaves by dipping part of the stamp in one color and then part in another. And I used um, Cajun Craze and Mint Macaron. And I outlined, did the outline in um, one of these I did in Cajun Craze and one I did in the Early Espresso. Now I'm going to put them over that staple so you don't see that staple. so much. And I'll put a little bit of glue. Pop my egg corn on top of that. And there you have your little treat holder. And that stays in real nice. And that just tucks behind that little flat. Okay, we move on to the next one as quickly as I can here. Next one is this card. I'm going to tell you that though I'm not going to use the same ribbon today because Stampin' Up! Um, has this on back order, so I'm going to use a different ribbon today. I have made it with um, the opposite side of the paper as well in a different ribbon and I like both both ways I've got everything cut out and I will have everything cut out for you for your class I'm using the stamp. My heart is grateful for you. I'm going to tell you that this, this stamp set is really nice. The words in the stamp set are, have a beautiful day. Hey there, life is better with you, and my heart is grateful for you. So even though it's a fall-looking stamp set with the leaves and everything, um, the words are, can be used any time during the year. And that's upside down. And it's really a nice set. So, my heart is grateful for you. That's what we're using right now. Then I'm going to come in and do some decorating. With some leaves. And for the sake of time, I'm going to make this a little simpler today. Not use as much. I just used Cajun, or excuse me, I used um, Early Espresso there, but I'm going to use Cajun Craze. Now I'd like to stamp off with that so it's not so dark. And you just line that up. You see that? Stamp off. And then line that up, ink up, and it comes in lighter. You can see that. So I think if you left it full force, I think it would be way too dark. You see how dark that is there. Get the right two, that's these two, okay, two leaves. 
And that's all the decorating I'm going to do on that one, for time's sake. You can do more decorating. Yeah, I did some other things, you know, um, pine cones and other leaves on these ones. Set that aside. And here I've used my scallop circle and my stitched circle for the cutouts on this one and glue them together. And you decorate that as much as you'd like to. Oops, this goes on the front first, this panel. All the instructions, if you get the class, I will have written out for you and all the measurements. You can use either side of the paper, it's up to you. You can do your card this way, you know, up and down, or you can do it sideways. You can, of course, put this on this way if you'd rather, or you can put it up and down if you'd rather. Totally up to you. Be creative. So let me... I'm going to try this. This mitt macaron also, we're not, we don't carry this ribbon anymore, but this is a nice ribbon as well, so I'm going to use this one today. That, that I used on the other card is this here. I want to save it for class so that I have some for it. And this is really pretty. And that's also mint macaron. Now I'm going to use double-sided tape to hold this in place. You can just use a dimensional if you'd like. Since I'm going to have that oval on, or excuse me, that circle on top, I don't have to worry about really where it's showing. I'm going to use some dimensionals on the top, or excuse me, underneath here. Helpful, but was straight. acorn on the ribbon. Can I feed that through? Now, if you have the acorn on your card, you cannot put it in the mail. So this would be a good card to hand to someone. Or leave the acorn off. You don't have to put the acorn on. You can just put a bow there. You can leave the bow off. Totally up to you. Okay, that's a second card. Now we'll move on to the, or excuse me, that's the first card. <laughs> Move on to the second card. 
We are running our time quickly here, so. This card gets a panel on the inside because it's Earl Espresso, so we'll do that real quick. I'm putting a very vanilla panel on the inside. going to use the words life is better with you. Again, I'm going to stamp them in early espresso on my stitched oval. That's what I used. Stitched oval die. Cut that out on the, the big shot. You can use any die cutting machine to to do that with. Oh, leave that up. No, I use the light colors for that one. Okay. craze so put a few of these in here and then and you could stamp this any way you want you don't have to do it the same way I am it's totally up to you colors you want to use and what stamps you want to use. This is just the way that I did it. And I'm going to leave it like that. Set that aside. Now, this is the metallic paper, the brushed metallic paper. What I'm going to do is you place them on the corners, but in slightly. You can see that and leave just a little bit of the card base show just to give it kind of a border. And I'm going to use the isn't that gorgeous? Can you see the metallic in that? Shine. Can you see the shine in that? This paper is gorgeous. And this gets layered on top. dimensionals to pop this up. Right. 
need a bow ahead of time. I need a glue dot for that. My scissors can't find my pokey tool. You know what? We didn't put on our last card. We'll do it. We, I forgot to put bling on it. So we'll put bling on both of them. And for that, I'm using the Holiday Rhinestone Jewel Pack. I've got one open here. So, where's my puppy tool? There we go. for this one. That looks nice with that Cajun craze color. Pick that up. What do you think of that? Okay, it's card two. And the final card I showed, I, I better show you this. This I did this different ways too. I did. You could also do it with the, the oval or the, the circle. And that's the same card I just did. And I like this as well. I think this is pretty. Okay, so the final card, <clears throat> pardon me, is this one. Now, if you flip the paper on the other side, you get the hound's tooth. This is just another way to do it. I'm going to do it this way today. Before we start, we're going to splatter the card with some ink. And to do that, <clears throat> Pardon me. To do that, you take your marker and you just give it a flick. Flicking hard enough, apparently. There it goes. So you get some little splatter marks on there. I don't know if you can see them. It's just a few. You got ink all over me, but. So first we glue down our angled piece. And I got this by cutting a, a six by three, six by three, um, Three by nine, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said six. A three by nine sheet of paper. And then you put it on the diagonal and cut it. And then you, you come out with two pieces. So you can either put it on this way or you can put it on this way. <clears throat> you glue that up. Okay. 
I've gone over my 30 minutes, so I hope this loads. So I think that was the problem yesterday. I'm almost done, so. I know that's going to be, this piece is going to be too long, so. Then you take this thin piece of metallic strip, and you glue it. Run it along. There, yeah, where's your baby wipes when you need them, right? You just cut the rest off. And I used the DSP. It's got that pretty speckled on the back side of the pumpkins there. And I stamped it with my heart is grateful for you. And I glued that right down. I didn't dimension all it because we're going to be putting on some leaves and some acorns. And again, you just use some um, glue dots. more it takes a while to 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 make all these leaves so um, yesterday's video went quite a while over, but it's just, they're fun to make. When you're sitting around talking, it doesn't seem like it takes that long, you know, so... took me an hour uh, to do everything yesterday. And today it's just a little over 30 minutes, so. All right. So, here we 
we have today's card. Well, I hope you like the, uh, the cards that I've made today. Again, you can use either side of the paper for, for these cards. In the class, you would get enough paper to make uh, two of each. Yeah, I didn't put any bling on that, did I? I'd like to put some bling on that. Um, you get enough to make two of each card, so you could actually make one side of each paper if you'd like. You get one treat, and that's a gift for me to you for taking the class. And you can find the details on my Facebook page, The Crafting Fool. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for, for coming by, and I will hopefully hear from you soon. And my classes, my in-home classes, or my house or your house, um, are next week. And... Um, Longer if I need to go longer. If you can't make it next week, we could work something out. And uh, if you'd rather just watch the video and, and get the tutorial and the, um, the products and do them at your home, that's fine too. I have that also available on my, go to my events page on my Facebook page. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.